this week's lab. So this week we're going to be using the coldies tablets again. What you're going to want to do is take one lozenge and weigh it with the analytical balance and then you're going to crush it up with the mortar and pestle. So you're going to want to grind it up until it's a fine powder just like last week. So next we're going to show you how to prepare sample number two which includes weighing out 0.1 grams of the zinc gluconate. In order to do this, you're going to want to fold the weighing paper and then tear it. So to prepare sample number two, we're going to add the 0.1 grams of zinc gluconate into our fine powder that we crushed up of the lozenge. Make sure that you uh, tap it back that, get it all in there. And then you're going to um, do this for about two minutes. You're going to grind it together so that it's really evenly mixed. That's how you'll get a good reading on the XRF. Now we're going to show you how to assemble the XRF cup. Here is an example of a good and a bad XRF cup. As you can see on this one, the plastic isn't taut and you can see that it's very loose and that will not give you a good reading. While on this one, it's very tight and it's smooth. And that's what you're looking for. Now Kristen's gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so these are all the pieces that you need to assemble your little cup. So you need um, some filter paper, one of these clear sheets, and then you need your um, finely ground up powder thing here. Um, and cotton. And you're also going to need cotton. This. Okay. So, um, so what we're going to do first is you're going to take this, um, like, body piece, I guess, and you're going to take some of these Mylar XRF films. You just need one. And they'll peel right off of this sheet. So this is the clear sheet that you need. So you're just going to gently place it on top of the body piece, and that might be hard to do with gloves, so just um, kind of bear with me here. And um, what you want to do is kind of firmly place it on there, like not all the way, but make sure that the, um, I don't know if you can see this, but make sure that the clear sheet isn't bunching up in any places so that you can get um, this to be like tight and not loose at all. And then you want to Press down on it really hard to get it to, okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's a horrible one. I so. know. Now, once you have it ready, it should look like this. Uh, it should look better than this, but what you're gonna wanna do is put all of your sample of the zinc gluconate and the lozenge mixture into here. So we're gonna do that now. Um, once you've emptied all of your sample into this little cup, you're going to take a piece of filter paper and make sure they're not stuck together. And um, make sure this is, kind of pat this down to make sure it's evenly spread across. And you're going to pack it with cotton. Okay, and now we're gonna put this closed top on. So, um, this is the side that your sample's on, and then this is the closed side, but when you put it in the machine, you're gonna wanna put it with the sample side down. Another thing that you're gonna wanna do before you transfer this over to the XRF machine is put this little sticker on it, and then write what sample number you are doing on it. Okay, and that's this week's lab. See you again next week. Okay, also shout out to Dr. Fay, who some of you may have as your lab instructor. She took the time to label the analytical balances with famous um, women scientists, so thanks. Mortar and pestle. I don't see any matching places. Pesto. Mortar and pestle. I couldn't find Wait, well, how do you say it? Mortar and pestle? Pestle. Oh, maybe that is okay. how you say it. I found this on the web for how do you say mortar and pestler.
I don't know. You can just say pencil. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna stop. All right, so, now let me try. Uh, okay. I want to do one. Okay, my turn. Here you go. Oh, so this is like. Okay, so now it's my turn. So you put the plastic. Okay, it is staticky. <laughs> oh no, you're right. This is hard. Yeah. 